what's up? I am back again. Today I'm exploring Greystone Mansion with Yavet, wherever he is. He was on this trail. I don't know, he's back there somewhere. But Greystone Mansion, it's in uh, Beverly Hills, I think we're in right now. I think it's like a old mansion that someone used to live in or something. And it was like converted into a museum or something. Um, but it's huge and it has just like all these trails that you can walk around the property. But no, seriously, look at this mansion. It's unreal. I don't even actually know the purpose of why it's here. Maybe I should have looked into that, but I didn't. Look at this. This is like the driveway. Skirt, skirt! I would be pulling in. Dude, it's like a racetrack, actually. I mean, I'm assuming if you lived in this house, you'd probably have like a Lambo or a Ferrari. So I'd be like, skirt! You know what I'm saying? Look at this dude. Mi gente, trabajando! Three suicides and no four suicides and one and accidental death wow so really? there's actually a book about it but the they're for the rangers and the rangers own experience called ghost of gray stuff so very interesting stuff people come out here all the time just take pictures of windows and such and look for really ghosts and such later on that's crazy yeah that's crazy i've that's been here before but i didn't know it was like supposedly like haunted <laughs> well they don't really advertise it yeah they yeah kind of advertise it more so for like the history and stuff like oh, that Oh, okay but a big thing people come out here for are for the ghost that are supposed to be out here. Huh. So a lot of my coworkers uh, say they've seen things or like had things happen to them. Me personally, I've had no experience. Never. So I don't have any reason to. But like I said, like a lot of my coworkers, good guys that I trust, and like all say they have had stories, so. Happened here or just like in general? Um, yeah, like some people have had, one guy said he saw someone walking around the parking lot when everything was closed off. And I know he's, that's the only ghost experience he's had. He said he didn't believe in it. He was out here and then he said he saw Ned Doheny in like the smoking jack and everything he was killed in walking around here. Why? A lot of it happens in the mansion though. Wow. Um, some people won't even go in there anymore. Yeah, I did go to the windows and I was kind of getting like a little bit of a creepy vibe, but I was like, it's just a big old place, you know? Yeah, some people say it's just a bad vibe and some people say they like have like a lot more happen to them. They don't really talk about it. They try not yeah. to advertise it because they want to more throw put it out for like events, like a venue sort of oh, thing. True. People tried breaking in just to like get stuff like that, like video recordings and wow. stuff. Wow. That park ranger was sick. He was really cool. But he was telling us that this uh, list, I guess, has like a bunch of, oh, music videos filmed at Greystone TV slash music videos. Wait, Teenage Mutant, wait, wait, what? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Trek, The Muppets, The Social Network. Wait, what the, uh, Spider-Man 3, The Prestige, wait, how X-Men, Batman and Robin, hold on, wait, the Phantom, Forever Amber, how are there so many movies that were filmed here? I thought there was be like five or 10, dozens, there's like man. dozens. TV shows, MacGyver, Prison Break, um, I'm trying to just look for ones I know, House, The Mentalist, uh, Spider-Man, Mission Ron Impossible, Carey. Elton John, Raya Carey, Meatloaf, Canterville Ghost, Hollywood was here. Dos Equis commercial? What? The Dos Equis man? Yo, dude, the Dos Equis. Okay, <laughs> out of all those things, the Dos Equis man being here is the coolest because that dude has a dude that goes, uh, I don't know what you drink, but when I do, I drink Dos Equis. <laughs> I love that guy. I would definitely have a supercar and just do donuts in here like probably all day. The hell is going on in here? Private event, do not enter. Wow. All right, so no invite? All right, that's cool, man. Yo, this is crazy that this is a house or was a house, I don't know. These people live in different out here. It's like a castle. Wow, this is nuts. So nice. That's right, get the flick, get the flick, boy. Dude, this would be so peaceful to live here. What is this? I'm just going on a little adventure with myself. Hey, but also, this place is really like a maze. Like, we just walked into this like covering of trees right here. And then there's like another staircase right here. And then there's another staircase right here. And then there's another staircase that's through like off that like cliff right there we can go to the front of the property and then there's this fucking it's like dude it's like dude, what bro honestly i'm telling you right now like dead ass because i know you're probably all thinking this too if i own this property and i lived here and me being a little smoker i would be every morning i would roll up a badass joint yeah. and i would probably I mean, dead ass. If this is my property and no one's here, I would be booty ass naked. I would light up a joint and I would walk around naked and I'd smoke. Ooh, ooh, I would get lit every morning. I'm just saying, that's what I would do. You don't have to agree, but uh, that's what I would do. <laughs> Real. Oh, oh shit, Ellie, he's looking for me. Oh my god, I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta start a new life. I'm gonna name myself Pablito. I'm gonna live in this little house right here. All right, yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna sell uh, peanuts on the side of the road of uh, Rodeo, and uh, I'm gonna be fine. All right, cool. Everything's gonna be good.
Damn, look at this clean motherfucker walking towards me. Yeah, hey, who is it? Smile. Oh, yeah, that, that's just you. Oh, what's up, my guy? Gang, 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 gang. Bye. Damn. And that is how you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you are living in GTA. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are today. We are going to roll a joint with Zuna. <laughs> Um, what? You know how to roll? I do, I do. Um, one of the... Oh, you know what's crazy? Is... Okay, so also, Yavet holding the camera, he is actually new to California. And uh, I was telling him it's crazy because you would think living in Los Angeles, California... Hey, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to record here! See, they went that way. They, they heard me and they went that way. Um, but anyways, Yavet is new here, so I was telling him how, like, you would think that, you know, being in L.A., the place of smokers and you know that type of culture that everyone would know how to roll apparently that's not the thing um i guess this new generation is just all about like bowls and bongs and you know pre-rolls and vapes yeah just the, the the convenient way of smoking you know just buying it pre-rolled or whatever so but like they just lazy bro yeah not a lot of people or not as many as i thought know how to roll in california and it's kind of like a a dying uh skill craft art whatever the fuck, what, what, what would you consider it uh, craft and art, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, everyone's like rolls differently. I mean, like you have your own, you roll really good, I roll, roll good, but we roll like different now. True. Everybody's got their own like style and their own technique. If you want to know how you get world peace, I know how to do it, so look no further. Uh, oh shit, my paper. How you do it is um, you give everyone in the world a joint at the same time, and you have them light it all simultaneously. And then for the next two hours, three hours, you will have world peace. That's how you do it. I think the biggest problem is going to be like everybody wanting to be at the supermarket for munchies. Imagine that. If everyone in the world was smoking at the same time, bro, yeah. Supermarkets would get cleaned out. But like everyone would just be like dapping up and be like, bah! You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they'd be like us. They'd be chilling. Now we got a little bit of gan ganjacito. Vamos a fumar, tú y yo vamos a estar allá. Now, children, what I'm doing is uh, grinding the marijuana in the grinder. Also, it's like crazy because, dude, we're like, doesn't it look like we're like kind of in heaven or something? Yeah. This is super nice. Like this, this grass literally is so like fine. It looks like green hair. <laughs> what are you doing over there, man? What you got in your hand? Oh yeah, this is uh, this is the next step of the process in rolling green. You grind up the weed, you put the weed in the paper, and then you go like this. I don't, I try not to, um, so yeah, obviously, like I said, everyone rolls their own way, so I just put, like, maybe 60, 70 percent of the weed that I'm gonna actually have in the joint in at first, just to kind of get the shape, and then, uh, <laughs> we're doing crash courses on, uh, joint rolling now, and then I got the little tip, and I put it in, like, when I'm kind of forming it. They're in love. The weed and the filter, they're in love, so they gotta be right up on each other, you know what I'm saying? They gotta be like, ooh, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then, and then when I meet the weed and the filter in the paper, it's like a trifecta, you know what I'm saying? The trifecta of the wind, the fire, and the green. We're airbenders. Air, water, fire. oh wait, we're not using the bong. When you're using the bong, it's air, earth, fire, and water. You gotta stay hydrated though, so you're always using water. True. I'm, oh, I'm made of 60% water. There you go. Water, earth, fire. What was the other one? Air. Air, 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 air. Obviously, too. Obviously. I was testing you guys. Like, I, I knew that, you know what I'm saying? How do you think this joint's gonna go? Honestly, not Perfect. like. Perfect, that's exceptional, right? Uh, it's like touched by the hands of God, practically, right? Yeah, watch me just roll the shittiest joint because I'm rolling one for the camera now. See, and it's like, you just wanna give it one little licky, Bam! And then this shit, bam! One little lick and that shit's here. You just gotta get this little pack of Reno and then you wanna give it a little tap tap tap. It's just a tap tap a roo. So I only put in like 60, 70% of what I'm gonna put in. Then I scoop the rest in from the grinda and I'm like, I'm like, all right, little children, it's time to go and meet the rest of your family. And they're like, ah! And then the rest of the weed goes in and they're like, ooh, we're all in the joint. It's like in a sausage party. You guys ever seen Sausage Party? If you haven't, go watch that shit. That shit's good. Um, but yeah, it's like when all the food in the supermarket, they like think that they're going to heaven when they're being like chosen by like, you know, the gods or whatever. But really like one of them finds out that like they're being like eaten or whatever and comes back and tells all of them. It's basically the same concept with this weed. 
They're like, whoa, we're getting chosen. We're going into joy. Oh, like, we're going to get smoked and go to like the higher place. And like little do they know, like they just getting me high. Yeah, then I just give it a little twist to Reno. And then I just get this little circle thingy. And then I go, bam. And then I curl the edges of the joint. It's just a really nice day out. So, um, and Yvette's new here. So I'm like, got to show my dude around Cali. It's like I'm Smeagol. I'm like, me precious. <laughs> That's how literally people think that like it is. With, dude, it's so crazy. The stigma that like people think about weed. Like my family in Mexico, they'll drink up a storm. I'm not hating on you guys. I love you all. They'll drink up a storm and they'll be like, Oh, weed's so bad. And I'm like, motherfucker, what? Sorry. We gotta get rid of the stigma around weed. Cause like, we just exactly. getting high. See, look, I'm smoking weed and I'm chilling. See, I'm, I'm, I smoke weed and I'm just like, dang. And then like, if I drink, I'm like. Huh? You see the difference? Smoking? Mm. Mm. Smoking and seeing. And then drinking. Huh? See the difference? Who would you want to be, hmm? Who do you want to be? Smoking, obviously. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You're not skinny, baby. Ah. Ah. Everyone's like, you're proving our point correctly that people that smoke weed are fucking idiots. Hey, if I'm a fucking idiot, then I'm gonna keep smoking, because I like it. Bruh, I think, honestly, a lot of people just need to smoke weed in this life. Yeah. A lot of people don't. Don't get me wrong, because a lot of people are like, I smoke and I get anxious and stuff. So, yeah, so you guys keep it chill. I just see some people that are, like, uptight or, you know, just, like, stressed out, and I'm like, you would be a lot less stressed out if you just took a hit of some ganja. Honestly, I call these peace sticks, because you take a hit, And you feel peace. <laughs> so how's your day going? It's amazing. How's that joint going? Pretty good. Uh, smoking good? Burning slow? Honestly, yeah. It's Tastes good. good? Yeah. I Tell the crowd what you're smoking on today, dude. This is Kush Pops. The weed. Nice. Yeah, Kush Pops. It's a strain I got from Sky High in downtown LA. Pretty good shop if you're looking for um, some good deals on flour. Uh, just bring cash, but they can pretty much give you the best bang for your buck at that place, Sky High LA. Wow, sounds like a fucking ad, but I ain't gonna pay to say that, so you guys should pay me for that. Yep, it works. This stuff works. It works. I know, they're looking for us. Oh, oh my god, all right, let's run. Quick, 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 come on. Quick, quick. All right, what are we gonna do for our new jobs, our new life? What are we gonna do? Let's go, I'm gonna be two gay veterinarians. Uh, yes, okay, perfect. All right, <laughs> gay with each other or gay with other people? Other people. Okay, perfect, yeah, I didn't want to be gay with you. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Where um, are our names gonna be? Uh, you're gonna be Pablito, and I'm gonna be... Angelito. Angelito. Uh, Angelito. I'm gonna be Angelito y Pablito. Okay, perfect. All right, how are we gonna get to Mexico? Should we take a donkey uh, or my car? A boat. Okay, a boat, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's Greystone. Da. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I don't know if you can hear that in the video, but when you're standing inside of this thing, your voice like echoes around this. I think because it's a circle or the way it's built or something. But this view is still pretty cool, even though it's foggy. But when it's not foggy or smoggy, whatever the hell it is, it is way better than this. To give you a little perspective of where we are, this Hollywood sign right there. So we are like just to the uh, west of it. So this would be like West Hollywood area, right here, Hollywood. West Hollywood, you know? Actually, that's the Hollywood Bowl down there. Damn, yeah, downtown is right there, but you can barely see it. That is insane, actually. That is so much smog. Normally, you can just see that perfectly right there. Whoa, what, that's a house? Look at that. And the hike we were gonna go on the other day is right above the letters right there. So we would have been standing right there on top. That view is insane. So yeah, just picture that. Like, oh, see, look, watch, watch. Damn, look at that view of downtown. Wow, that is so nice. Oh, wait. Hollywood land right there. It's pretty cool. Bam. Saw, dude. I gotta make sure I don't fall off. <laughs> I think we're literally on the edge of this cliff right here. <laughs> Dang. Hey, this actually looks really good on camera. Or at least from what I see right now. I'm like. Yo. Oh. What a dope angle. And this house too, crazy. That view, crazy. Me, crazy. 
Hey, but actually, it kind of looks like a kind of looks like a green screen or something. Very dope. Ten out of ten dope. That is it for that one. Just remember to stay sexy, my friends, and a peace out.